Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a boring day of my life. And a beautiful day, I believe, would start. Okay, maybe not by setting the mini oven on fire, but I think it's still edible. Look how crunchy it is. Well, it did took me forever trying to peel this off while filming this, but hey, listen to this. The crunchiness. Okay, to be honest, I don't really know what to film, so I decided to just show around the environment of whatever countryside I am residing right now. So I'm living at a place called Hiyoshi Station, so it took me forever to walk all the way. And this is the train metro, it's very confusing. And then now we're just walking to the Keio campus in Mita, and I don't know why Tokyo Tower just somehow just appeared to be there. And now I'm following the crowd, don't know what's going on. The Keio Mita campus somehow just like reminded me of UCLA and NYU. UCLA because it's hilly, it's slopey, and then NYU is because it's just like, you know, just on the street. Like you didn't even realize you were on their campus. And it's kind of like middle of, well not nowhere, but like it just somehow on the street and you just see it. And this is their um, bookstore. They don't have many stuff in there, so I didn't buy anything. And now we're heading out to Akasuka because we... Well, mostly because I wanted to get one of their like lucky charm because I'm writing for a grad school application and being superstitious as I am, here I am. I'm not really sure what's going on, but it's very crowded, but in this film it looks really pretty. The sky is really blue. And here is a lip balm with um birthdays listed by birthdays so it's you know pretty pretty um specialized for or like customized to you and being a dumbass i am i picked january 11th first but my birthday is actually january 9th i don't know what it is on it but i didn't buy it because i don't think i need it and there's just like a shit ton of like tourism souvenir things that you know they just get the tourist money so practicing minimalism i did not buy anything at all so i'm very proud of myself and this is their melon pond it's heard it's really delicious but on a diet so i did not get any of them so now i'm at a place called unana so basically it's a unagi onigiri so ill on top of rice and it's like 600 yen so and this is how it looked. It's pretty small, but the eel was really good. And by the meantime, I also got takoyaki. I really, I am really happy that it's like a self-serve machine because I don't want to talk to anyone. And here I am, takoyaki. And then I got a bunch of uh, fish paste, and then they did boil it. It comes hard. That tasted just like carbs. And yeah, and then I just somehow fed myself too much, so I was walking around at the temple. And then, yeah, looking around. Looking around, this is the where they have like one of the very expensive specialized uh, charm. So I don't get it. It's like five thousand yen, whereas this place is like five hundred yen. And yes, I did get my lucky charm. I got um, the one specific for education school since I'm applying for grad school, and that's the one right there, the red one. Yeah. And this is one of their traditional, kind of like a lucky charm lottery thing where you just pay, or you really don't have to, but like you pick, you get the wooden stick, it has a number on it, and go find the drawer with number, mine was two, you pick whatever paper inside and it tells you how you're um, fortunate you are or not unfortunate, like this year. I got a pretty lucky one, well not pretty lucky, but just like lucky, so it's not too bad. It says whatever wishes I got will be realized, so I'm very happy. And now we're in a, on, in a queue of getting one of the uh, most concentrated matcha. It's a lot of people, so I had really high expectations. Looks really pretty, and here is mine. I got number 7, the most concentrated with black sesame, or as I like to pronounce it, sesame. It was kind of disappointing to be aged, like the sesame was good. And this is the me I went back to um, Kiyoshi and then that's when I actually had the unagi onigiri there because I was pretty full. I am here reading, drinking my iced latte because I reserved for 
to go to the gym at like 5 15 and I don't know why they're still doing like a reservation system which is very annoying but I can't do anything about it so here I am and this is a very small ass gym so I mean it's better than nothing now that I'm done with workouts on my way back and this is a very very unfortunate attempt to make my dinner because I already had the unagi I'm not too hungry so I decided to just make yogurt with um some protein powder and a banana and I tried to use the matcha one but I couldn't find a scoop in it so and then I poured the milk out of the container which is very sad and then the banana is turning brown so that's why I decided to use it but overall it looked like this which is pretty disgusting but it tastes good I mean just eat for the nutrition not for the look nor the taste thank you that's it